Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with a small estate sale haul. It seems like all my estate sale hauls have been pretty small, or the ones I'm about to film anyways. But um, the, sm the hauls have gotten smaller and the prices have gotten higher. So I'm gonna really try to be mindful of getting better deals at estate sales. I know the prices of everything has gone up. I mean, insanely gone up. Um, so I think that's why I was like more willing to pay a little bit of a higher price. But I think it's kind of important that we try to get good deals because if we are willing to pay higher prices, they're just gonna keep going up and up. I mean, that's just me. But I figure someone out there is going to get a good deal. So I'm going to try to be the one to get a good deal. And I think you guys should too. <laughs> All right. So I got this super cute baby book from Better Homes and Gardens. It is so adorable. This one is from 1966. And the pictures are amazing. So cute. Let me try to go to, look at that. So, so cute. And there are tons of pictures in here. Look at this. This is probably one of my favorite finds from this estate sale. But yeah, so cute. I'm so glad I found that. This one looks like, okay, it's a puzzle, but it looks like it's by Eloise Wilkin and it says Golden Press here. So I don't know if that's part of the Little Golden Book Company. Um, let's see if there's there's no date or anything but I thought this would be cute even if I use it for like a cover or something I thought that would be cute this is like a knitting book but it's for leather well it's like a leather instruction book and it's perfect time period for what we do Let's see the actual copyright, 1971, and I just thought that was really cool. So I threw it into my stack. This one is from 1972. I don't know if you can see that down there but super cool and it's in really good condition all right I found this binder and it's not super old it's 1977 um, and the pages in here are not particularly interesting but I liked that and I liked that it was just a neat little binder so I got that I got this cool book the illustrated treasury of children's literature and this was gifted in 1975 and it is copyright 1955 and I think the pages are going to be really good for base pages because it's not too illustrated and the colors are pretty muted but I find that sometimes I just need some pages because I actually do use up all of my book blocks and I need more and this is like a nice big size and it's a pretty thick paper so I was super happy to find that 
I found some doilies. Now, I think this, um, this was the home of one of my old high school teachers. I never had her. She taught home ec. Um, I think this was, the name sounded familiar and it said something about her teaching at my old high school, but, um, the years might have been a little bit off. So, um, I thought that was pretty cool. Now I found a little bit of paper stuff, just a pad here. And when I get pads like this, you know that there's not that much going on at the state sale because that's not typically a color I would go for. This is just a little piece of wrapping paper. I thought it was pretty cool. I love vintage graph paper. And this looks very vintage. I've been needing, needing <laughs> graph paper. Um, so there's graph paper with the bigger grid and there's engineering paper it looks like and paper or graph paper with the little grid. So that I definitely was excited about. And then there was this type right here. I thought that was cool. And a yellow pad, which I think is cool as well. I typically don't copy dye vintage paper. So I was happy to find this. A little bit of wrapping paper. This was pretty cool. Wedding wrapping paper. A little card that came with it, super cute. I love the colors on here. That's really my thing. These little line drawings and these cute colors. This gray paper here. Just some random pieces of this. Some more Christmas wrapping. This is embossed, which is really cool. It's wedding. And this is, it was originally 79 cents and it looks like baby. All right, and then I found some fabric. Now she had a lot of fabric, but it was kind of kept in this like, kind of like a shed area and it did not look very clean. So I could, I did not find that much. But I found this and I love anything that's kind of eyelet and texture. So it was a good amount right there. I found this very interesting fabric. Again, it's wasn't well taken care of, but like this cool me mesh and it has like if it's a whole stack like this, you can see that it's teal, but when it's just by itself, you can't really tell the color. So I thought that was really cool. It's very thin. So I got like a pretty good amount here. I'm going to have to wash all these very carefully and thoroughly. Again, this is Iletty and it has a really cool edge. And I found a lot of it. I have been on the hunt for anything with texture in terms of fabric, with texture, lace, anything like that. So I really just, anytime I see anything that's remotely a good deal, I grab it. This I thought was cute. Such a cute design. And she had bolts of fabric too. This is a shirt. It 
looks vintage and so much detail. I love it. I definitely hoard lace and things like that. So it's good that I'm finding some. <laughs> this is a shirt. I thought that was pretty cute. And then I found some, I think, kind of modern patterns, children's super cute images and it's it's 1095 so it's it's very new most likely 2004 wow that's expensive super cute as well this is 2004 originally 1095 Oh my gosh, patterns are expensive. And this was like almost 20 years ago. 2003. And I can't find the, oh, the price is 10.95 again. So cute. This is hmm. 1095, probably early 2000s again. And then I found just little pads of paper. I love finding, this is um, vertical index cards. I always grab index card when I find, can find it because I love avocado dyeing them. And found some other little odds and ends. Yeah, I'm like, I'm I actually am crazy for these index cards, and I don't like to pay for them at a store. So I love finding those. I found these cool dividers. Let's see if there's a year or anything on them. No, but. Anytime I can find dividers, I grab them. I would love to get those doctor's office ones where they have these colorful tabs. And there's someone's phone number. <laughs> All right, but so that was my little haul. Oh wait, I almost forgot the really fun stuff. So I found some board games. And some of them are pretty old. It looks like she got them from a yard sale, not this one. But I always try to get board games. This just looks like it's from the 80s, which I'm totally cool with. But I would definitely use this to make a cover and then use the board itself to make one or two covers so cool and this looks very new i think i could definitely use these as maybe tug spots or try to create some kind of embellishment with it i love these game cards the font is very children's book like so i thought that was cool and then i found some older board games I found this Scrabble one. At first I thought $1 was the price at this estate sale and I was like, oh, that's a good sign. But no, that was what she got it for at a yard sale. That's what they told me. This is a Scrabble game for juniors. It looks old. It looks like she got it a couple decades ago from like a couple decades ago. like. This is copyright 1958, so super great find. Love how this game board is. I love this color and all the images along the edge. Sorry, I'm like trying to maneuver around my setup right here. 
I have lots of wires and things and I keep bumping the camera sorry about that <laughs> and these are pretty cool pieces too and I would definitely cut this up to use as well so I thought that was really a cool find 1958 all right and this one was also super super cool an old main an old maid game board game she got it for 50 cents um very cool box let's see if we can find a copyright date somewhere No. So I'll definitely cut this up and use it in a journal. And this is not thick cardboard, but I mean, that's fine. I'll just back it up, back it onto something thicker. But isn't this adorable? It just looks so vintage. I love it. And not too many pieces in here, but I will take what I can get. So cute. And look at that. But yeah, so it, let, let me know um, what you liked the most in this haul. Can't wait to use, to make some game, board game um, journals. That's something I've wanted to do from the very beginning and I haven't done it yet, but I was so excited to find these. But thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.